everyone. I'm Dr. Abhinav. And uh, as we all know that the UPSC CMS 2022 exam will be on uh, July 17th. And uh, you can start applying for that exam from uh, 6th of uh, April till 26th of April. So for those who want to apply uh, for the next year's exam and uh, for those who do not know, uh, who do not have much information about this exam. So I'll try to clear it out in this video. So in this video, I'll be mainly discussing about what is UPSC CMS exam and who can apply for it, what will be the syllabus. And uh, so after writing exam, what we'll have to do, what about the interview? So when can you start working? So all those things I'll cover in this video. So first of all, if you see UPSC CMS is Union Public Service Commission Combined Medical Services exam. So this exam is uh, UPSC, the central government is recruiting doctors to work at various places under the central government services. So this exam is conducted every year, uh, once every year. So, and the candidates selected will be posted accordingly. So you can, uh, who can attend this exam is that, whoever is in this final year of uh, MBBS or whoever is doing uh, internship that is CRRI or all those foreign medical graduates who have uh, graduated from the country of study. So all these people can apply for this exam and the maximum age limit is 32 for applying for this exam. So all, all uh, after applying the exam, applying for the exam, the next thing will be uh, needing to know is about the syllabus. So if you see, if you compare to other exams like NEET PG, INICET, the syllabus of UPSC CMS is very less. So what they mainly test you in this exam is uh, on uh, medicine, surgery, uh, obstetrics and gynecology, PSM and pediatrics. So only these five, sub five uh, subjects will be tested in this exam. So there will be paper one and paper two in this exam. So usually this exam tends to be in online. So, but in the 2020, this exam was uh, given in an OMR sheet. But the next exam, 2022, which is uh, expected to be in as a computer-based exam. So basically you have two papers. So paper one will be medicine 80 marks and pediatrics 40, medicine 80 questions, pediatric 40 questions. And paper two, surgery 40 questions, OB 40 questions, PSM 40 questions. So in a total of, you will have 240 questions. 240 questions uh, carries uh, 500 marks. So each question will be like a kind of uh, 2.3 marks. So in this exam, another important thing to know is they have uh, negative markings. So for every mistake you do, minus, six, minus 0 0.69 mark will be detected. So that is if you make a, a mark a question wrongly. But if you leave the question, then no negative mark will be added. So this is UPSC and these people can apply for UPSC and this is the syllabus of UPSC. So then what we'll see next is about the preparation strategies. Now this is very important. So now uh, the next exam, uh, the next uh, UPSC exam is on July. So you have a good amount of seven to eight months. So the, in the next month, December, uh, there is one batch clearing uh, FMG exam. So once you clear the FMG exam, do not wait start preparing for UPSC exam. And for those who, those students who are doing the final year college, MBPS, uh, and those who are doing an internship, you do not waste your time. You can prepare for NEET, PG, as well as UPSC CMS exam. So the preparation strategy for this exam is kind of a little different compared to NEET, PG preparation or FMG preparation. So the preparation strategy here is first you will have to know about the syllabus and about the exam pattern which i have told you already so there is only five subjects so we will be having to dwell on only those five subjects also but some other uh, uh, important topics might come from other subjects also so if you are uh, very well in these five subjects that i have mentioned already then you can easily clear this exam so the next thing is you can uh, you don't have to stress too much and learn everything in these five subjects. You can learn the most important topics which are regularly tested in this uh, exam. 
I have also added an uh, added a video previously in which I have mentioned about the um, important topics which are usually asked in UPSC CMS. You can refer to that and start preparing on those topics also. So when you prepare on those topics, you can start making notes on those topics. You can, the best thing to do is having your hand handwritten notes, so which will help you a lot. For uh, foreign medical graduate students, you might have already have had your notes for FMG exam. That notes is. Uh, uh, enough for clearing this exam. So the next thing is after making notes, you will have, you can, this is optional, you can use study materials also. So there are a few books for FM, uh, uh, for uh, UPSC exam, mainly the previous year questions they have discussed. And uh, those books have uh, uh, tagged in my description, you can check it out also. So after this, you will have to do your revision. Also the exam is on July. So uh, April, May, June, May and June, you can start revising. And also you can start giving mock test for UPSC. In the UPSC website, uh, note, note that in the UPSC website, you'll have the previous year questions also with answers. So please kindly solve it after uh, preparing, okay? So this is about the preparation strategy for UPSC CMS exam. Uh, basically in the mind, keeping in mind the 2022 exam, I have told this. So now, you have known what is UPSC CMS, you have known the who can apply for it, you know the syllabus of the exam, you know the preparation strategies, how to prepare and how to clear this exam. So the next thing will be about the exam pattern, which I have told you already. It's like basically multiple choice questions. So the question pattern will be like a, a case, case scenario and you'll have four options or you can have a case scenario and they will they will be they will be they will be giving three statements, and you can be uh, asked which of these statements are correct. Select one, two, three, or two, three, four. Those kind of questions. And usually there is no image based questions asked in this exam, so you need not worry about it. So after giving this exam on July 17, probably after 21 days you will get your result. Result in the sense you won't get your marks. So what? the exam, examiner will do that. They will just release a PDF in which the selected roll numbers uh, who will be going for the next, next step, only their roll numbers will be mentioned. So if your roll number is mentioned in that uh, PDF, then you are going to go to the next round. So the next round will be the personal interview. So once you have uh, cleared this uh, written exam and uh, your number is there in the PDF, so then the next thing you'll have to do is you'll have to fill a detailed application form. So in the detailed application form, you will be filling almost everything about yourself. And it's like kind of 11 to 15 pages you'll be filling for those things. And after filling that, you will be called up for the interview. There's a personal interview, which will be taking place at Delhi. So you'll be called up for the interview. And so you should show up for the interview and then you will have to answer the questions there. That will be like kind of personal interview. So there will be a panel of uh, four to five people and then you will be sitting there and uh, they will be asking questions at you. And so you will be answering the questions. So the written exam carries 500 marks and this personal interview carries 100 marks. So add it together, out of 600, you will score a mark. So that is your final grade. So after the personal interview, the UPSC will release a cutoff value. So whoever is above that cutoff value, will get uh, the job. Whoever is below the cutoff value will not get the job. So there will be cutoff for each uh, OBC and uh, general category SC, ST. So according to your category, if you have scored about the, above the cutoff, then you can get the job. So the job to start to working will take at least six months to one year. So the first year will be like a provisional year. So They'll be seeing how you're working and all those things, then your job will be permanent. So the salary is also quite good at UPSC CMS, plus you will have extra benefits like the stay, the travel allowance and all those things. So this is a very good exam to attend. Because even the exam fee is not too much, it's only 200 to 500 rupees. So why not try this exam? So whoever is on their final year or doing internship or whoever has completed FMGE, they can definitely will have to give this exam. So even before attending FMG also, you can give this exam. It's not an issue. So 
start preparing for this exam so which is going to take place on july 17 side by side as you prepare for your neat pg in his inacet exams so this is a good exam to give a try so that's all for this video so if you have any doubts please do let me know in the comment section we'll clear it out and uh, see you soon don't forget to subscribe to our channel